name is Josh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a video like the one you just watched. We're going to be using a program called HitFilm 2017 Pro, which is a combination of a video editor and a visual effects compositor. So what's the difference between editing and compositing? Well, that's what we're going to start off with today. So to begin, when you create a new project in HitFilm, this is a screen that will appear. You can set different settings for your project. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is. If you go down to the bottom, you'll notice that you have a choice between compositing and editing. So what's the difference between compositing and editing? Well, if you look at the little icons, they give you a hint. So the editing icon shows two clips, one in front of the other, because that's how editing works. You're taking different video clips and you're putting them sequentially, one in front of the other. Now with compositing, you'll notice that the clips are stacked one on top of the other. And that's essentially what compositing is. You're taking multiple video clips and you're stacking them one on top of each other. So let's start with editing. So this is how our screen pops up when we first open. Let's go over to media and import, import media, find your footage. You can use the shift key to select all of it, open, and then it'll load your footage. Here in the trimmer, you can see your footage and you can play through it. And then you can find a shot you want. Let's say, let's use this shot. Uh, let's go to a point where we want to start, say right about here, right before I'm coming into the frame. Then you press I in order to select the beginning of the clip and then go to where you want the clip to end, say right here and press O. Then you can click and drag your clip down to the timeline here and then it will ask you if you want to change the editor sequences settings to match the clip. Select yes. So there you go. Now you can't really see our clip here, so you just zoom in. And there you go. And then you can go through and add additional clips. Let's say you want to add this clip here through, find the starting point, hit I, find the end point, hit O, and then just click and drag it down to here. And you'll notice that one clip plays before the other. Now, for compositing, let's try and find a shot that requires the light sword. Go to about here, drag that down. And now we need to add an effect. Up here we have our effects panel. And you can go down to generate, open that, and then scroll down to light sword. And you'll notice that next to each light sword effect, it says layer only. What that means is that you can only use this effect in compositing mode. Right now we're in editing mode. So to switch to compositing mode, select your clip, right click, go to make composite shot, and then take the properties from the editor sequence and the effect and transform properties move with the clip. And what that means is that when you open up compositing mode, your shot will look exactly as it looks right now. There you go. And this takes us into compositing mode. There's our shot. First of all, notice how the timeline here is different from the timeline in the editor. In the editor, again, you have your clips one in front of the other. But in the compositing mode, you're stacking your clips one on top of the other. So let's add a new layer, make this one a plane, and then hit OK, and there you go. You see that this new plane is on top of your video. And you can move it down below the video and move it back on top. All right, we're going to add a light sword effect to this. So grab light sword ultra. We'll just do the two point auto. Drag that down to new plane and drop it there. And so now you should see your light sword on a black background. Now to make the background transparent, right click on new plane, go to blend mode, Go down to add, and what this does is it adds the colors and the lights from this top layer to the layer below it. And there you go. Now you can go to the light sword effect, you can go to controls, hit the drop down arrow here, you can select the hilt, and you notice these little dots pop up. You can scroll in, move these to where you need them to be. And then to make it look as if there's a glow emanating from the light sword, you can add a grade effect. So go to new layer and go down to grade. And what that does is it allows you to apply effects to all the layers underneath this grade effect. 
So we'll go up to effects, search, and we'll search for glow. Grab this glow here, bring it down to new grade, and it just applies a glow to the image. Now we can adjust that a bit by going over the settings here. We can turn down the intensity a bit. Uh, we can change the threshold of it. And we can also change the per channel intensity. So if we don't want it to be as red, turn that down. If we don't want it to be as green, we can make it a little bluer. And there we go. We now have our light sword with a blue glow. And now you can go back to the editor and notice that the effects have been applied. I hope this has helped you to understand the very basics of what's the difference between editing and compositing. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will go over keyframing so that when you scroll through the video, the light sword moves as it should instead of just staying in the same place. Thank you for watching.